Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install latest version of Python, which is at the moment 3.7.4 on Windows 10. In case if you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1, you will be able to install this Python 3.7.4 if you get any error installing python 3.7.4 on windows 7 please google it okay so this is microsoft windows 10 i'm quickly going to check the system type so right click on this start button here and go to system and on this window you can see it says system type so this is 64 bit based on 64-bit processor so we will go ahead and install 64-bit python 3.7.4 so to download python 3.7.4 or the latest version of python you simply go to python.org hit enter on your preferred browser i'm using microsoft edge insider and then go to downloads button Okay, this takes you to python.org slash downloads. You can put your cursor and download it from here as well. Or you can click this Python, download Python 3.7 yellow button, which is a download button. If you just click on this, you'll get more options. Here you can see if you're looking for any specific version of Python like 3.7 or 3.4.9, uh, 3.5, 3.6, you can download it from here as well. But in this video, I'm going to download the most latest release, which is 3.7.4. You can simply click on the download button. If you want to read a release note, which generally people do, you can go ahead and right click on it and open in a new window so there are a few changes in this release security core and built-in improved support for server gate pass error handler duty of 8 and 16 there are a few library added to this 3.7.4 which you can read uh, support for my SQL like 3.2.8 on Windows and system executable path also has been improved for microsoft windows uh, these are the security candidates that you can see and again these are a few more fixes few libraries that you can go over if you wish to so these are basically changes in python 3.7.4 there are improvement to idle as well python idle for mac os as well tools and demos okay so there are a few script thing errors that have been fixed here okay so that that, that are basically major changes in uh, python 3.7.4 you can go ahead and read this documentation okay by clicking on this release release notes to download it you simply click on download and this takes you to different page here and just scroll down here you can read this for microsoft windows mac users okay for more information otherwise just scroll down and look for 64 bit download button here for microsoft windows okay if you need 32 bit for microsoft windows you can click this windows x86 web based installer or executable or zip file okay for 64 bit we will need one of these okay so windows this is embeddable zip file if you need to port to other system download it on this computer and take you to the different one you can download the zip one okay 
we will go ahead and download the executable or the web based for the same system okay so for this video I'm going to use web based executable one is kind of you download everything and then you can hit the install button web based installer downloads a little bit and then connect when you click install it connects to the nearest uh, Python download mirror which is kind of a web server and download from there okay so we are going to download this web based installer which is kind of faster than the executable one and once it's downloaded which is 3.7.4 click on open file and if you get something like this which says okay I'm still waiting for it so this is Microsoft Windows 10 security which may be on Windows 88.1 or 7 as well so if you get something like this simply click on install anyway and here you want to make sure ensure that you check this box okay add Python 3.7 do not forget it otherwise you would not be able to execute it from the command prompt here okay so okay if you wish to customize it you can go ahead and do that but I'm not going to customize it okay make sure you check this box um, add Python 3.7 to path okay system path and then hit install now you'll get another window say yes now you can see it's install downloading uh, basically installing 64 bit of python 3.7.4 and it shouldn't take long time it should be up in a moment okay so in case if you've got any previous version of python what you quickly need to do go to control panel and uninstall the old version of python then install 3.7.4 or any latest whatever you need at this for your requirement okay alrighty it's almost done here so it's installing pip as well which is package manager for python that lets you install another other packages uh, on your system so here we go it's been installed successfully you can see here simply go ahead and close it okay and open the terminal if you do not have terminal pinned here go ahead and click on this start menu and type cmd or command prompt and hit enter you'll get the same thing here now we will go ahead and check whether Python 3.7.4 has been added to the system path. To simply type Python hyphen and uppercase V, and you'll see you've got Python 3.7.4. If you just type Python, you would be able to interact. It's kind of interactive shell where you can write Python and execute. So if I say print and say something here in between like hello world it should ex execute okay the other way you can go ahead and execute Python basically using idle okay one more thing which is available in 3.7.4 you get the manuals as well so you can go over this is local locally downloaded okay so you can go over the documentation and it makes your job easy if you're a learner everybody is a learner Python is a very robust and huge kind of library has library Python has huge libraries so people look up no matter how experienced you are all right so you can go ahead and ch uh, check the idle as well which is Python idle I don't know where did it go Python idle 
I don't know. Let's go ahead and check if I can find one. Mm, let's see. You will have to look up for it. 5.3.7. You can you will see something like this. Okay, a folder in this apps list. You see idle 64 bit, Python and manual and docs, module docs. Okay. So we need the idle one. If you wish, you can go ahead and drag it over here. And this is going to be pretty handy. Or you simply right click and pin to start, which will pin here. You can drag it over wherever you wish to and then you can easily launch it so here it is okay to execute any file with idle you need to save the file first so we'll go ahead and create a new file here and i'm going to save it on the desktop so very quick uh, kind of hello and you don't need to type dot by so here we go if I type something here, same thing. Hello world, and save it. Uh, just save it like that and run it. To run it, you simply F5. You can press F5 on the Windows. Uh, sorry, keyboard and this runs the application or the module whatever you call it so that's it for this video thank you for watching the video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any question please let us know thanks again have a good day